We've got a tasty treat on the menu today. A meaty sea bream with clean juicy flavors and downright delicious. And so the fish won't feel so lonely, we'll add the classic Mediterranean side of boiled potatoes and Swiss chard. As always, all the quantities and the recipe are written down in the description below the video. Now, let's start with our fish preparation, as this step takes usually the longest. Place the fish on the cutting board, and let's remove the farmed fins for easier seasoning and baking. Wipe away any excess moisture, and with a steady hand, make an incision from the tail to the head through the center on both sides. Generously season the fish inside and out with salt and pepper. Take your two slices of lemon and place them into the belly accompanied by a sprig of thyme. Distribute thyme leaves on both sides of the cut and add a touch of rosemary. Place the remaining rosemary sprig into the belly of the fish. On a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, position four small butter sticks that are evenly spread. Place your fish on top of them. Take four more small pieces of butter and place them on and in the fish. Drizzle over olive oil and place everything into a 180 degrees Celsius preheated oven for 25 minutes. While the fish is baking, let's prepare the accompanying side dish. Clean the Swiss chard and separate the stem from the leaves. As you're preparing the Swiss chard, boil some water with salt. We will blanch the leaves and the stems separately. That's because they need the different cooking times. Leaves need about 2 minutes and the stems about 5 minutes. As soon as they're cooked, place them in the ice water. This will stop them from cooking further. Squeeze the water from the leaves and set everything aside for now. Peel and dice the potatoes into bite-sized pieces and cook them until tender. I personally cook them in a pressure cooker. It only takes about 10 minutes. It's quite fast and easy way. You only need so much water that it covers the potatoes and one teaspoon of salt. Drain your cooked potatoes and put them back in the pot. Dice the leaves in a sort of square pattern and put them to the pot with potatoes. Don't forget to dice the stems as well and add them in. Bring everything together with a tablespoon of water and mix everything well. Make sure you don't mix too much or you will make mashed potatoes. Now the fish has been baked, let's prepare it. Remove the herbs and lemon slices first. Starting from the tail, delicately detach the back fin bones with a knife. Don't rush this process, take your time. Fish won't swim away anyway, and you will ensure that the meat won't get damaged. Glide the knife beneath the skin, separating it from the flesh. As you can see, cleaning the fish and separating everything so it's edible, it's quite a process, but with time, you get the hang of it. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. With your knife, make a small incision along the middle of the fish. This way you will separate upper and bottom part. Push downwards on the flesh to detach it from the bones. Go beneath the flesh and flip it onto your fork. Place the meat onto a plate. Do similar with the upper part. With your knife, go under the flesh and glide it along the bones. Lift and flip it onto your fork and place it onto the plate. Now let's remove the head of the fish and the rest of the bones. With your knife, go beneath the main fish bone and lift it up and set to the side. What you're left with is the other half of the fish. Run your knife over the flesh to find any small bones still present in the fish and remove them. With your knife, get between the flesh and the fish skin and slowly separate them. Place the remaining fish onto a plate. Now let's combine both dishes together. Later your potatoes with Swiss chard alongside the beautifully prepared fish. Don't fret if the presentation isn't picture perfect. Remember, it's the delectable taste that steals the spotlight. I believe this dish will win over anyone you serve it to. With that in mind, I do hope you have enjoyed this week's video. And see you next time. Bye bye!